Hey chaps, here we are. Now I'm going to be reviewing this head tracker for you today. Uh, this is a much cheaper alternative to Track IR or some of the other more expensive trackers. Um, very quickly though, firstly a disclaimer, uh, I have no financial interest in you buying this. I have The only thing I've got from this is that I've been sent this uh, free version to review. And then obviously if new people come to this channel, watch this video then that helps the channel but that's it apart from that um, that's that's all I have no interest in this basically so it's an impartial review um, what I'm doing here is showing you what comes with the actual head tracker itself I'll move on to a more detailed uh, review in just a minute but firstly I'll tell you about this video this video is split up into three parts the first part I'll take you through the hardware secondly I'll take you through the software and how to set it up um, and then lastly I'll show you the actual head tracker in action and then right at the end of this video I'll put a little clip just showing you my other head tracking review video which I made some months ago so here we are here's the first part I'll take you through the hardware now obviously what you see here is primarily what you get now as you can see straight away, this is a standalone head tracker and it is obviously battery powered as I'm showing you here. This is different from the other head tracker I reviewed a while ago, uh, which was wired. And I am, I mean, I've been using this head tracker for maybe two, three months now, and I'm finding it's really nice to be able to detach the tracker and not have it stuck to the side of my head all the time. Um, it makes just, you know, placing your headphones that much easier. Um, I'm sure some of you out there have uh, wireless uh, headphones as well. So that's another thing you might want to bear in mind. It also gives you some sort of versatility, I reckon. Uh, maybe you can attach this to different, maybe a hat if you don't want to, if, you, if you're not actually wearing um, headphones like I do. So, this is um, also to show you, if you do buy this thing, you can come back and watch this video to to see how you actually set it up. Because I was a little confused in the beginning. It, this comes with two batteries, as I showed you at the beginning. Um, but as you put, if you put just the one battery in, then there's space. And it took me just a, a second to work out that you actually need to put both batteries in this space. Um, so they need to be lined up in the same direction and as we do here so you just you make sure that wire there is touching the top battery so don't push it down too much but that's it you just put them both in uh, make sure the wire is touching the top battery and then you can screw it shut so very simple setup indeed now you can probably notice ah I'll move on to the uh, PS3 camera so this comes in the packages Luke clip as he calls his uh, his clips is now selling uh, packages that include this modified ps3 camera um, it as you can see it's red and that is it means it has a filter for infrared light only so the tracker emits infrared light which means that it's easier for the camera to distinguish it from uh, other other light in your room. Now this is how it actually attaches to your headphones or whatever else you want to use. Um, that on each side is sticky. As you can see it's pretty sticky. Um, it's pretty straightforward to attach. We'll just pop it on. So it's all really straightforward to, to set up basically. You stick the batteries in, you make sure the wire is touching the top battery you close it and then you stick it on um, as you can see there I don't know if you caught that it also has charging so when the battery goes flat it also has that switch on the top so you can switch it on or off for efficiency but it has a it comes with a USB charger and you can charge it like any other device you can charge it like a, a phone or in anything else you would use so it's, it really is a quite a good little standalone thing standalone device and um, yep, yeah, and you can judge it like anything else. I can still use the uh, microphone there. So it fits quite nicely on the side. It's very, very light. 
so you're not going to have any kind of problems with um, with weight. Yep. Just showing you a little bit more. Uh, that letter, by the way, is just a rundown of, of how to install it and how to get the help if you need it. Um, he seems to be very responsive and helpful. Uh, yep. So I don't think you'll have any problems with, with getting support. Right, we are onto the software side. Now the first thing you need to do, what I'm going to show you here, is setting up the actual PS3 camera. So what you do is you type in exactly what I'm doing here, PS3 I driver, and you want to make sure you go to emuline.org because other links, if you search for this, will try to charge you for the drivers, uh, which I thought was a bit rich. So you want to go to Emuline, this is what you'll see, it's in French, but you can ignore all of this. You just go to that big green button, download, and you hit download. Sorry, I cut, side of the, cut the side of the screen off because I had to uh, enlarge the bit that I'd recorded. So you just download that, it's not a particularly big file, and it's pretty easy to... Oh, I just show you this uh, the other link that this is what you don't want to click on. This is what is going to try and charge you. Yeah, so make sure you go for emuline.org. So you just open the file, obviously. Go yes, it takes you through to a a setup wizard. You agree. You install the software, and that's it. Your machine should then recognize the PS3 camera like any other normal webcam. So it's nice and straightforward. Right, on to the next part, and this is actually setting up the tracker. Now, I'm going to go through Face Track No IR first, and Dell and Clip. I'm going to mention this. This is the other head tracker that I reviewed in my other video previously. And just to remind you, I'm going to show you a little bit of that video at the end, and I'll give you a link through to that video at the end of this one. Now I'm showing this here because Dell and Clip and his website has the best guide, the best instructions for actually setting up Track No IR. Track No IR, as you can see there with that screenshot, this is the software that you're going to need um, to to actually track the head tracking. Um, I found that Track Face Track No IR works with Elite Dangerous, and there's another one called Open Track, which works with Star Citizen. So this is Face Track No IR that I've downloaded already. And once you've uh, installed the drivers, the PS3 i camera should show up just there. But first, you need to go to the page that I just showed you, and you need to make sure you download the files and go through the steps that that it tells you to go through. Because otherwise, it's not going to recognize. Actually, it's not going to give you an option. I think to find your uh, PS3 camera. So make sure you go to this page and follow the steps to set up FaceTrack No IR first. And I just thought it was easier to actually show you this page where you can go through and find the steps and go through the steps yourself rather than trying to go through every single step and describe it for you in a video. It makes you more independent. Um, yes, I'm just showing you that um, where to find the settings. So you want to go to the point tracker 1.1 settings and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You just want to basically yeah. What more can I say about that? You uh, just follow the steps. I don't think you need to change the resolution or frames per second or anything like that. The threshold however is important so I'm going to show you how to uh, change the uh, threshold in just a minute and how that how the importance that actually has you need to change that threshold on both face track no AR and open track and this is that's particularly important because if you don't change the threshold it means that your camera is going to be picking up some of the ambient light in your room um, because even though it does have this filter for um, infrared light only, it does it can pick up other 
other light. So here we go. I'll show you. Um, ah, sorry. Last important step, and this is to get the uh, games list, the list of supported games for FaceTrack No AR. So follow the steps I just took. You go to FaceTrack No AR's website. You go to Downloads. This takes you through to SourceForge, and then you go to Files, and then that link right there, Facetrack No AR Supported Games CSV, and you need to download it from SourceForge because this is the most up-to-date file, and this is the file that includes Elite Dangerous. So basically, this file is just telling Facetrack No AR how to actually work with Elite Dangerous's software. Um, yeah, it, it's it's basically telling face track no IR which games are supported and yeah, making it work. So you just go into face track no IR in program files, go to settings, paste over the file that's already there, replace it, continue if you need to uh, administration access, and that's it. Now you should be able to just open face track no IR. You fa you open face track no IR first. And then you open Elite Dangerous, and it should just work. Just work straight off the bat. So into the actual software and how to set it up. I'm just going to show you. You go to start, and as you can see there, we've got some ambient light coming off the top of my head because I have a very shiny bald head. And this is where we change the threshold. If you move the threshold down, as I did then, you can see that too much ambient light gets in uh, so it picks up any kind of shine so what you want to do is you want to take it right to the max and you can see that right at the max it only picks up that that infrared light and it picks it up very very clearly but you want to go right 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 to the end and then you can see that it's not picking up any shine off my shiny shiny head anymore it's just picking up the points of the the head track and it's picking them up very very clearly indeed so as you can see the head tracker then works very very nicely and it's all very smooth so the threshold is very very important indeed and it's the same thing with open track so this is open track and of course to download face track no IR and open track all you need to do is Google you know, open track, download, that will take you to the latest version. So just that's pretty straightforward. I didn't need to show that for you, but the same thing with open track, just take it to the maximum threshold. And then once you start, you'll see that it very, very clearly only picks up this infrared light. So this is where the, um, the filter on your PS3 camera really becomes important because then it's only picking up those points of light that you want it to. So pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, do post them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best I can for the benefit of everybody who watches this video. Now here we are onto the last bit. This is simply where I demonstrate the effect. So um, that's me in the corner and I'm going to move my head around and you're going to see the effect in the game. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer, in real life, this is very, very, very responsive indeed. So as you move, the game moves immediately. It's not absolutely perfectly synced in the webcam and the footage that you're seeing. And that's just because DX Story, which records the game, and my webcam aren't entirely recording at exactly the same speed. So nicely a very very slight DC but as you can see there you can also move forward and back you can turn your head to the side you can look down to the left I'm trying to really show you the, the sort of full range of motion that you're able to get with with a head tracker um, this is amazingly useful in combat in both Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous. Now obviously I've concentrated mostly on Elite Dangerous. Star Citizen is more difficult to set up. If you want to use OpenTrack with Star Citizen you have to 
in the past I had to use something called VJoy, which is virtual joystick. Um, so Star Citizen, because it's in early stages, doesn't fully support head tracking yet. So you have to actually kind of fool Star Citizen into thinking that your head tracker is a virtual joystick. So, but that's beyond the scope of this video. If you want to find that out, just go and Google it. Chaps, thanks for watching. If you want to see my other head tracking video, uh, just I'm going to play that for you right now. So all you need to do is keep on watching. I'll show you a little selection and there will be a card in that corner that you can click on now if you want to go and watch that video. I think I've got the right side. Ciao for now. So I have no vested interest in promoting this. Um, the reason I'm doing it is simply because I think this is some of the best hardware you can get for the price. Certainly for the price. Um, from what I've seen and what I've experienced, um, I've owned this head tracker for about six months and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's worked perfectly. It's very reliable. It's a complete set. Um, there's nothing else you need to do once you're set up and running. It's dead easy. And it's going to save you a ton of money over the Track IR. Um, the Track IR, if you're a head tracker, will head track them, but they're not going to crack. They're not going to break. Red, right, light. And I'll be able to. This is a fantastic headset. I would highly recommend it. Very sturdy. You can um, turn the. Oh, this is um, next to me on my headset. And as I move around, you can see that yeah, this is the, the next part of the demo complete. And now we'll move into showing you how it actually works in game. Let's see if we can uh, find some ships to kill. Okay, so the first thing I'll show you is just what it's like inside. I want all the functionality. But you see how responsive it is, just turning my head around like this. It's really quite good. And again, for the price, you cannot come.